All right, let's talk some impressions about Twilight Princess. I didn't change the thing from Hitman, so we're going to do that real quick. Hey, Zoo, ask me something about Zelda while I change my text and my internet slowly dies. Whoa, that's big text, man. I'll fix that later. Because I played about 15 hours of Twilight Princess so far, and there's one thing that you really need to look at here in this part, is how goddamn weird everyone's head in this game is. There is not a normal looking person in this entire game, and it is baffling. Why? Why did it look so weird? It's it's very strange to me how it even happened, how any of this happened. They they I why did it look so weird? These aren't even the weirdest looking people. These are probably the least weird looking people in the entire game. I don't understand how they went and did this. Or how my computer, or how the internet's slowly dying. It, it's just, it's upsetting. But, except for that, the HD upresing of it actually does look really good. Uh, it, so, so that's good. But they, I mean, they changed a few things, like the little seeds of light or whatever that you have to collect that was fewer for you to get. That's fine and all. But my internet just just shit the bed, so that's good. Oh, there it came. Oh no! Oh, oh okay. I'm just gonna keep talking <laughs> as it slowly dies. There are a few problems with this game in its age. It doesn't control quite right. The the it's the second analog stick for the camera doesn't feel appropriate. It's very weird in how it works sometimes. Like when you're on the horse, it just zooms out instead of like up, how you'd want to like rotate the camera up. It just kind of goes out or goes in and then goes up and down. It's a little weird, but you can get over that. The main, main big, the main big problem is the horse, which controls so poorly in these corridors that you're bumping and hitting the sides of everything. It's not, it's not very good. It doesn't, it doesn't really make any sense. It, it, it's, it's something they talked about with Zelda on Wii U of, oh, we're gonna make this horse good. And I'm like, yeah, I can tell why because this horse was so bad. Oh, I'll talk about Civil War in a minute, actually, because I do want to talk about that. But to, to talk a little bit, elaborate a little more about Zelda, well, my internet dies because it really shit the bed. I'm watching this. OBS is like, no. No frames. <laughs> Your internet's gone. You paid for shit. Garbage. I am really enjoying going through the game again. It all feels very weird, though. I mean, I've played all the Zelda games, so, and I played this game once, but eight years ago, you know, and it doesn't, it feels very linear and very contrived, not necessarily a bad way. But it feels so compact of like, I can only go to this room. This room has a key. Then I turn around and I can open the door. Then I go to this room and I get an item. Then I can go this way. And it, and it kind of pretends that it's open, but really it does follow that go here, you have to go here, you have to go here, you have to go here. And I don't necessarily, it doesn't feel right. And I guess all the Zelda dungeons kind of follow that, that aspect, but it never really, it, it hit me a lot in this game. I'm like, man, I'm really just, is it because I played so many Zelda games? Is it because I played this game before that I just know where to go? Or or what's going, is it, are all Zelda games so linear? And it made me think about A Link Between Worlds and how much that game was kind of a departure and just let you go wherever you want. And that's what the new Zelda looks to be. Even with these weird feelings I'm having about the game, it is really good. It, it's definitely not bad. I never thought it was bad, but it's more Zelda. And if you want Zelda, you got Zelda. And even though I played it eight years ago, I'm, I am having a lot of fun actually playing with controls and seeing Link kind of fight a pumpkin man. Link's a weirdo. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. 
dropping hella flame, flames, 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 frames. Got it. Nailed it. First try. Nailed that word. That's good. I just want to do quick impressions on it because I've been playing it in, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to review it when I actually finish it and kind of see what it's about because it's kind of a weird one. The, I mean, the overworld is basically is giant. It's way too big. There's an entire area, the largest section of the map basically exists so that you can have fights in it and there's nothing to explore or see or do there. That's kind of a problem when you're making a fucking overworld. You should kind of fill it with stuff. And there is stuff to do in the overworld. There's stuff to find and do and you collect bugs and whatever. But that was one of my big problems with the game originally was that there's just, there's a lot of space. There's not a lot of stuff in the space, and it seems like they they took the complaints that people had. Did you play Zelda on console? What what Zelda? I played all Zeldas on 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 the console that came out, except for the NES. I never had the NES. Um, but the the this game was a reaction to Wind Waker, right? Like, okay, let's make a mature Zelda. Let's basically make Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask again, because it, it borrows from both heavily, specifically Ocarina of Time. Let's make that again and do this. And then this open world is so big and kind of not very fleshed out and interesting. Then you go to Skyward Sword and it's like, okay, we made the we made the the overworld small and not that interesting. And we filled it with with less than nothing, but there's not a lot you have to go to all these areas and it, we made it focus on these linear parts. I'm like, that's not right either. And then this other, the new Zelda, is an exact opposite reaction of, well, now we made, we're gonna make it giant open world. I'm like, well, can't you guys just make a, a decent, like, you're, you're reacting too much to fans and not making the game you want to make is what I, what I feel like they're doing. But yeah, I originally played this game on the Wii, what was that, 2000? No, 2008. No, 2007. It was it was a year, you know. It was a year. It was a year that happened, 2008. I'm dropping a lot of a lot of frames, not flames. Frames, which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I don't want to unplug my thing and break everything. You know. <laughs>